Good day. We are the group 1A of BN3F here to present to you our study entitled Factors of Migration Among Filipino Staff Nurses Abroad and Domestic. My name is Isabel Beatriz Bilbao and I am joined here today by my group mates, Mr. Caleb Agustin, Ms. Gianna Urinbay, and Mr. Van Bahe. I'm sure we all know that plenty of Filipino nurses choose to work abroad in the higher income countries of the world. Did you know that as of the year 2020, there were 550,000 foreign trained work nurses in the higher income countries of the world, such as the USA, the UK, Australia, and various European nations? Well, 240,000 of them are Filipino. So the issue of skilled worker migration has greatly impacted the Philippines for a long time. Past few decades, skilled workers from the Philippines have chosen to work abroad rather than over here in hopes of a better income and a better life for themselves and their families. For the healthcare system, it has caused great damage because the experienced professionals who are of great value to their respective institutions have chosen to leave the country to work, to work somewhere else. This, so, this study aims to determine factors that influence the migration of Filipino nurses. It may contribute to the field of medicine by possibly giving a clear and cumulative reason as to why nurses choose to leave the country from which they came. In the future, the researchers hope that these points of views will be taken into account when formulating new rules, thus allowing for healthcare reform in the Philippines. We, the researchers, wanted to ask the question of why do nurses migrate and get the answers from the point of view of the registered nurses themselves. We, the researchers, used the quantitative method of research employing a correlational descriptive research design. We used a researcher-made questionnaire that was validated by three experts in the field of nursing. The reliability was computed using the CONVAC Alpha, which is a reliability test that measures internal consistency. That is, how closely a set of elements are related as a group. The questionnaire contained the demographic profiles of participants, including their age, sex, years of work experience, place of work, and perceived socioeconomic statuses. The following factors were used to assess the reasons they may have used in order to formulate their decisions on where to work. We used economic factors, personal factors, family-related factors, job and education factors, and social political factors. We disseminated the questionnaire to Filipino registered nurses working either here or abroad using primarily social media. And the participants were chosen using convenient sampling. There were a total of 126 participants who agreed to take part in our study. The majority of our participants were female, over 35 years old, working in the USA and the Philippines with over five years of work experience and considered themselves either rich or lower middle class. The raw data from the accomplished questionnaires were brought to a statistician for review and analysis. Here are our results. After one month of data gathering, it was found that the primary correlation was between participants' profile and the following factors, economic, personal, and family related. This means that there is a strong correlation between their decision to migrate and these factors. Social political factors, job and education related factors did not have any significant correlation, indicating that these are not strong enough factors that may influence a nurse's decision to migrate. This data suggests that there is a correlation between Filipino nurses intending to migrate more because of their family as compared to social political factors. When compared with a summary of responses, it can be noted that Filipino nurses, regardless of their country of work, agree that social political factors may be of a similar sort abroad. However, they intend or choose to migrate because it may grant better financial support for their families and increase their family's chance to migrate and allow them better outcomes in life. After observing the tallied results of the study, it was analyzed and concluded that Filipino nurses are choosing or intending to migrate due to hopes of a better life for themselves and for their families, and in order to achieve a higher socioeconomic status. This is continuing to affect the healthcare system of the Philippines because nurses are still choosing to live and work in different countries. 
This correlates with a study by Asadi et al. in 2016, where it was found that the most important factors influencing the inclination to migrate by Iranian healthcare professionals were reaching out for better life, interdisciplinary discrimination, and experience of living and studying abroad. This may cause serious issues in the healthcare sector because with the low supply of healthcare workers, the Philippines is continuing to experience a longer lasting pandemic. With an extended pandemic, the country is more likely to experience major economic disruption and long-term financial problems, which will inevitably deplete health funding. Depleted health funding will exacerbate any existing problems and also affect education, employment, and general migration policies. It can be a serious problem for the healthcare system in the future, in which it may face a lack of skilled nurses and other healthcare professionals. And so this requires more attention from health sector authorities and administrators. The policy and program frameworks recommended in the study include the main categories of national policies that may affect immigration patterns, rational production and use, and compensation for public sector personnel and management strategies are included. Negotiations such as bilateral and multilateral policies and social dialogue are also recommended. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening.